going on guys and today we're going to talk about a tool that i think is hugely beneficial to your business you know i'm all about data so i'm going to show you this tool that's going to let allow to use instagram to extract a massive amount of data including emails so stay tuned right after this and i'm going to jump right into the review of profile mate All right, guys, so let's jump right on over to profile mate here. Okay, as you can see here, this is what the dashboard looks like. Um, pretty simple to use, simple to understand. Um, but let's just talk about really quickly what the purpose of profile mate is. Okay, this is going to allow you, as you probably saw maybe in the thumbnail or description of this video, to pull emails, locations, contacts, business types of thousands and thousands of followers online okay now if you know a little bit about email marketing and you know a little bit about running ads using custom audit audiences you can understand how valuable this can be in terms of creating a super 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 targeted audience that you can either run ads to uh or you can you can do cold email marketing campaigns with okay um i'm actually going to give you a bonus below it shows you how to run a cold email marketing sequences using these emails that we have uh, acquired using profile mate. Okay. So that's going to be my bonus. Um, this tool is absolutely powerful, but if you add on that bonus stack of understanding what to do, once you now have 10,000, 15,000 emails, uh, it's just going to really, start having the sales come in whether the sales you're looking for uh, more leads or if you're looking just to simply grow your following on a platform this is ridiculously powerful okay so let's jump right into the software really quickly i'm going to make this video very easy to use and understand and let you see how it works okay so first thing you can do is you can find you want to find the users okay so when you're targeting users, you're going to say a follower or following. Okay, so he, here's what this means. So let's jump here. We hit go. And it says you own any, you own account or any other account on Instagram. Okay, so I don't want to really view my own account statistics right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the dashboard and let's see here. Follow following. Here we go. So we're just gonna select, you know, let's think of a, a let's think of an account we can do. So let's just say, uh, I don't know, we'll say Reebok, okay? And I'll do some, a smaller Reebok, let's say Reebok Classics account. Okay, so I'm gonna hit analyze follower following, okay? And as you can see, apparently this has 1.4 million followers. Okay. Now I can sit here and as you can see, it's extracting these right here one by one. So I can sit here and wait till it extracts all of them or I could say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and start downloading it now. So let's go ahead and download this now. This way you all can get an idea of Give it a second here what the data looks like okay so we're gonna click on that let's pull up a spreadsheet and see what kind of data we have just from briefly pulling about i think i pulled about 1400 emails off or i'm sorry profiles what you notice is not every single profile will have an email address uh it depends on whether or not that person has connected their email address to their Instagram account. Some people do, some people do not. Um, if they've made their email address public, then you'll see it. Okay, so as you'll see right here, the first step is we're gonna get username, full name, Instagram ID, uh, and then your profile URL. So you say, okay, well, Steve, well, where is the actual, you know, uh, emails and and all of that. So what we're going to do 
take these usernames. I'm going to copy them. All right. And I'm going to scroll down here. Okay. And it says... Go to email extractor. Okay, now I am going to pop that right in there. Now I'm going to hit submit. Uh, I'm going to call this, it's asking me to give this list a name. So this is just what you want to name the list so that you know what you've saved. So I'm going to say Reebok list. Okay, so I could, you know, I'm going to say Reebok users list or whatever, be more descriptive. But for right now, we're going to go with just Reebok list. Okay, that'll be fine for the purposes of this. We're going to hit set. And now right here, you'll see that it gives you these different options you can use. Now, you know, everyone won't need every option. Like, for example, I'm not going to use biography. Um, it's not that useful for, to me, so I would uncheck this. Now, business category, I'd keep their phone number. I'm definitely keeping there. Um, if you're someone who uses ringless voicemail, this is a massive, massive piece of data. Um, public emails. Email marketing, I don't have to say much about that. Um, phone country code, it goes to the phone number, so I would leave that there as well. Follower count. Um, I don't really care what their follower count is. Um, is it a business account? That could be useful. Engagement rate. Um, mm, from what I'm doing, it's not useful, but I could see how it could be useful if you're trying to find like influencers or something like that. So um, you would check that off. I'm going to take that off. City, that's, that's useful for me to know. Um, following count, not useful for me. Is it private? Uh, not really useful for me. Um, the link in the account, I definitely want the link in the account for website just in case they, you know, if they own a business or have, you know, a link to other things that may make that lead more useful, depending on what niche I'm in. Again, I'm going to leave that in. Uh, last 12 post locations. I don't really care about that. Uh, then we're going to go to next. All right, now you're going to get this user details extract, okay? And I'm just walking you through this. I know this is a lot of this is very, you know, self-explanatory, but it's just going to sit here and extract. So I only did 997 uh, users, so it's going to extract 7%. We'll sit it here and we'll just let it load, okay? So while we're doing that, I'm just going to pause this and then we're going to let it load, come back when it's finished. All right, guys, we're back and let's check and see where our progress is on here. We're at about 95%. As you can see, uh, I think it's what, 143. Okay, total users, users entered 997. All right, so let's do this. We're going to extract these and you're going to really see the data that's the full data. Okay. Let's do download data here. Reebok list data. Okay, now let's click on it. Now, now you're going to see the difference in the level of detail. Okay. Here we go. So let's kind of expand it so you can see. You got your username. Uh, let's do this so you can see. You got your username, your full name. Your pub, the public email of those who have it, the website URL that's here, total post, business category name, the link to their Instagram account, business account ID. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is just the top of the list. If you go down, there's more and more information. Now, you know, for someone like me, if I'm usually looking for emails, and again, I only did 997. But I'll just usually go here and I'll sort it A to Z. That way I know my emails addresses are at the count are at the top of the spreadsheet. Okay. And so all of these are my email addresses I was able to pull from that list. Now imagine, say for instance, I have, I don't know, 
a program on how to train dogs, okay? So what I do is I would go, I would use this entire process. I would go in and I would find an account for dog lovers, okay? People who love dogs, like I love dogs, but, um, you know, I find that. And then I would go in and I would pull the data from that account and find these email addresses of people who happen to follow pages about loving dogs, right? You know, or having dogs or being a dog owner. And now I have this list of emails that I can use to do one of two things. And let's say I have a, a Facebook ad I want to run for my my uh, dog training course or book or, or you know, give freebie. Okay. Now I've, I have got a list of emails and, you know, you want to get obviously over a thousand if you're doing a custom audience for uh, Facebook. So you would want to do maybe five, 10,000 emails to get you a really good locked in list. Okay. And you load that custom audience. You can run a Facebook ad to that audience. You can also use that audience to create a lookalike audience in Facebook ads, um, which is a, you know, another, a, a, <laughs> very powerful tool so that's one way you can use the emails the other way is just by simply developing a cold email campaign where you're going to be emailing out these people uh information about the particular product uh, based upon their interest okay so and you can easily put together an email that will be sent out to these people and there's a particular way that you can do that uh, which i'm going to show you in my email code email marketing blast sequence. I'm sorry, code email marketing blast training. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. And I'll show you how to also, if you would like to delegate that task out. Um, and then you just have an everlasting flow of um, emails where you can send out to people who may be interested in your niche. Okay. So let's jump back over. Okay. This is how simple it is to you. And again, this is just the predominant way I use it. Okay. Now you can come back over here and go to my dashboard. Uh, it says I'll lose my data. Did I maybe have to save it down here? Uh, oh, if, if I don't. Yeah. So it's basically saying if I don't download this data, I, I'm going to lose it. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go back to dashboard. I'm going to say, uh, yes, I want to continue. All right. Now it's saying, you know, extract targeted users. Now we use the follow following method the first time. Another way we could extract users would be from location. So I could click in, you know, uh, Dallas, Texas, or, you know, Phoenix, Arizona, and I can pull in a targeted users and I can pull the same type of data using location. Hashtag, I could do hashtag in the dog example, hashtag dog lovers. I could pull back a list of thousands and thousands of users who have put the hashtag dog lover on underneath their picture, which would actually be a pretty smart one if I was in that dog niche. So um, users, top likers, comments. So what does that mean? I'm going to show you here. Uh, let's go here. If I were to enter in a user, like maybe t Tony Robbins here or something like that, uh, what it's going to do is pull back a list of the users. Okay. Let me get this off of here. It's going to pull back a list of the users that actually have commented the most on his post. So these are going to be the most highly engaged users. Okay. And I don't want to pull back that right now, but I wanted to show you that's available. Um, then you got the specific posts, likers or comments. So let's say I make a post on Instagram and it is going viral like crazy. And it's about a particular topic and you happen to sell a, to uh, a product that would fit perfectly uh, for people who are interested in that, in this topic Well, a specific post liker comment option is you're going to be able to select the post ID and say, Hey, listen, I want you to pull the users who have been liking and commenting on this post. And obviously if it's, vi if it's viral and it's got thousands of users, thousands of followers, you can simply go and say, Hey, I saw, that, you know, create an email says, Hey, I saw that you commented on the post on, you know, whatever Tony Robbins post about 
whatever, right? Motivation. And I thought you might like this program, right? And it's super, super targeted. Okay. So this is a very extremely powerful tool. Um, I highly recommend that you guys pick it, pick this up as you know, as well. Um, what you'll see is you'll get tutorials and training here as it goes along. So there's going to be tutorials that tells you, it walks you through how to do everything. Um, you've got tools here as well. Uh, the fan and Brad's analysis, you've got the, any accounts report. Um, you got the post the statistics, uh, for any account, you can split images into multiple images, best in trending posts of your genre, which is cool. Cause you can type in what niche you're in and kind of see what posts are trending that way. Um, and you got the related trending hashtag. So this, this simple tool right here, guys can give you a massive, a massive amount, uh, of data in terms of targeted data. And it's not just, oh, I think, uh, you know, this person, they're 35 or 40. They might be interested in this. No, this is people who have, are following an account. You know, if I'm following Nike or if I'm following, uh, you know, what a particular restaurant, a steak restaurant, if I'm following a page about keto dieting, I may be interested in weight loss. So it's, it's, it's very hot, you know, it's almost uh, guaranteed that I'm interested in it because because I'm following the page, right? So this is a way to get ridiculously targeted emails. Um, I would tell you to go ahead and pick this up. I don't do a lot of reviews on my channel, but definitely go ahead and pick this up, this software, um, especially while it's at this price. Um, this is, the we're kind of in a launch phase right now. So I'm sure the price will go up uh, within the next few weeks, but I would definitely pick this up while you can, um, while this is still available. Um, you know, it's, it's not something yeah, Instagram is always going to allow people to put this information in. And this is a ethical way to, uh, basically scrape data. So highly recommend this product. Again, the bonus with this product will be the code email marketing blast training. And I will show you how to take these emails and have these emails sent out on a daily basis uh, to your ideal target, okay? So with that being said, this is the end of my video and I will talk to you later. Remember guys, take a look at the link in the description to get more information on the product. Um, and also don't forget to go, to go to the YouTube channel, click that subscribe button. We're on Facebook as well. My Facebook group link should be underneath this. Also, where we get free marketing training.